Microsoft might, could be, have a new mobile device plan. Didn't we talk about this last week? Yeah, but we didn't know anything about what it might be. So you mean it's it's not just some fevered fantasy, some fevered fanboy fantasy? Oh no, it's a fevered fantasy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the question is, pat- will they make it? <laughs> yeah, right. Even right. fever fantasies sometimes get fulfilled. Mm-hmm. It's the fulfillment of a fevered fanboy fantasy. Next on Windows <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> yep. Let's see if I can extend the alliteration a little longer. Mm-hmm. So what is it? is it? Is it going to be a phone? You say device. Is it a tablet? Right. Well, it looks like a foldable phone that could become a mini tablet. I love this idea. Based on a patent application oh. discovered by MS Power User. But what do we learn from patents, really? I know. Well, that's the trick. We learned Surface Studio six months before it Did came we? out. Really? It's true. Okay. Yeah. It's it, true. The, the entire design of that thing was in the patent. Okay. And here's another connection. The guy who patented the hinge for Surface Studio is also the guy patenting the hinge on this device. Ooh. So, you know, when it closes, there's going to be like this huge hole in the middle. (laughs) (laughs) That you could put a pen in or something. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. (laughs) No, so there are a lot of images from this patent. And the application of the patent dates back to 2014. And it just became public, I think, in the past few days. So um, make of it what you will, but it looks like something that could fold up almost like a book and when it's open, look like a little mini tablet. And it also has a kickstand that lets you tent it, unless that's just another possible variation um, of a device. Like you said, Leo, what you see in patent applications, it's not always clear. It's not like, hey, here's a device. There's like all these kind of it could look like this it could look like this there may be different kinds of um what do they call them housings so we can't say it exactly looks like this but interesting it's intriguing interesting intriguing yeah. even very and very. something and and every and i don't blame the fanboys furor because it's a fantastic phone it would be uh uh really yeah. wonderful to have i mean this is a dream come true is it not pretty cute it's a dream. I'll give you that. Um, I never. I, I have the, to say, I don't credit patent applications generally because I know any co- right. any company right. worth its salt patent stuff, not even because they're going to make it, just because they yeah. don't want anybody That's else true. to make it, right? Right. But remember, you know, I there was a video that Microsoft posted um, a few years ago. It was called Future Vision 2020, uh, back from 2013, and they showed a phone-like device that had two screens. And in, in, in the video, you could actually pop them apart, but they also worked as like a folding thing or as you could put them together for one big screen. Yeah. And you could kind of imagine that this is maybe the first step toward that kind of futuristic device. Interesting. Yeah. It's very... It's, it's a courier-ish um, kind of a thing. It is a little bit like a courier or maybe a new, new and improved Surface Mini type device. Perhaps. Yeah, it's absolutely, you could imagine it being a continuum type device, right, where the screen or the display adapts depending on the configuration of the screen. Mm-hmm. And um, the patent, the exact patent name is Mobile Computing Device Having a Flexible Hinge Structure. <laughs> a flexible date, hinge structure. Yeah. Yeah. So a, a lot of this patent is about the hinge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and how how it works well, and how you it have, folds. And so is it dual screen or see Samsung also showed something a concept right. device mm-hmm. with a bendy screen and they were really pushing the bendable yeah. OLED thing, right? Yeah, this looks like more of a two screen thing, doesn't it? Yeah, like a courier. In it other does. Words. Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. 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 A small courier. Uh, I like it. I mean, um, I liked the Samsung concept view. I, did we show that here? I think we did. I think we did. I I, I, I kind of like, you know, in the form for, form factor, that thing is kind of like a little square. Yeah. And it looks like the type of thing that would fit really nicely in your in a front pocket. Yeah, but give you a tablet if, yeah. should you need it. And then, right, turn it into like a phablet or a, a small tablet And that's thing. the advantage of a single screen solution is when mm-hmm. it becomes a tablet, it really is too, you know, it's all unified up kind of thing. Right. right. You don't right. have a bezel to get in the way of your mm-hmm. swipes. Yeah. Uh, it's apparently so what, uh, LG, Samsung, and Google have similar patents, so yeah. that's good. Maybe this yeah. is the next big thing, the next yeah, form yeah. factor. Yeah. The big question for me when I saw it is, what 
operating system will it run? Because well, uh, my guess is Windows on ARM, the thing that's coming in the fall, yeah. not Windows Mobile, right? Right. Or that's Windows Phone OS. Yep. Yep. And then if it does run that, that's good news because at least in theory, you can run 132 apps and emulation on that. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, I think Paul was the one who said on Twitter when this all broke, okay, but it doesn't get around the problem of where are the apps, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yep. hey, there's a really cool phone. It can run UWP apps. Oh, where are the UWP apps? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there, there's a contingent of our, you know, kind of fan base out there, the Microsoft fan base who just wants to see another, they just want some hardware to get excited about. And I, I hate to be the guy with the, you know, bucket of cold water, but, right. you know, it doesn't solve are. the central problem with Windows <laughs> 10, right? I mean, the app thing is just an insurmountable issue. It doesn't matter how cool yeah. the thing is, you know, if you can't run yeah. any apps on it, it's no one's going to bother with it. Well, right. Well, but, yeah. but it all, but it has to start somewhere. And if uh, I think uh, starting with a yeah. cool device is a good place well, to we're not, start. Uh, it's not really starting anywhere. This is like the seventh generation of the software. Like it just hasn't taken off. Like I, right. You know, it, I, I, a cool device isn't going to do it. You know. Um, yeah. But a cool new kind of device running a, a successful operating system is actually a little more interesting. It doesn't solve. You know, I know it doesn't solve the, the phone issue, but um, it's you know, Microsoft has established a, a, a kind of an interesting niche with this continuum stuff and. Um, I think it's most effective today on PCs where you can transform a, a tablet into a PC and vice versa. Um, but, you know, uh, HP is marketing a Windows 10 mobile device is kind of a three-in-one. And you can kind of see this as the logical extension of that, but just a three-in-one that actually runs PC software people want to run. Yeah, put WOA on it. Yeah. Yeah. And if it does have WOA on it, I'm betting we won't see this till 2018. Yeah, yeah. Really, that's right. so. Woa is Windows on ARM, and we—that's official. We know about that. Right. Yeah. We also know it's not happening till the end of the year. At, uh, at, you know, right. to begin with, right? Okay. So uh, that would be the very yeah. earliest. Okay. I would think so too. Yeah. yeah. And remember, last year we were starting when we were still hearing tips from various tipsters about Windows. I mean, a uh, Surface Phone. They were mm -hmm. hinting, starting to hint this might not be a 2017 thing. They were like, maybe it's a 2018 thing. So right. I'm more inclined to think if they do this, it won't. We we know there's going to, or we we believe I should say there's going to be a hardware launch this spring. This will not be in that hardware launch. It's too early for that. If it's based on ARM, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. right. So and, and I think next year, maybe a preemptive strike. They would show a, a concept thing saying we're working on this. I don't know, but then nobody would buy. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's it's such a weird chicken egg problem. Yeah. It is. Although they're in a good yep. position because it's not like they're killing a very brisk market. So, no. in fact, this might be the time to reassure everyone. Well, and say this yeah. is I, 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 they do have no. partners, though. I mean, you don't want to right. throw them under the HP bus. HP is the only. Right. That's no, I mean, the there are other companies making Windows phones, but yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, none of them. And, are, and people making games. small small tablets, too. And you can bet they're trying to line up OEMs right now to build Windows on ARM. PCs right. and tablets. Right, so right, right, right. if they sure. show this, like, hey, look what we're going to make, then everybody's like, oh, why am I going to buy from Dell or Fujitsu or mm -hmm. whoever, right? Right. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. Sadly. I know. Sadly. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you insist. Yeah. 